Two versus four. Here comes the Sisu push. Trapdoor is open, but not being used. It's just a threat function. Smoke is there. The Frost Trap being taken out in the corner. More smoke's going down now from the actual attacking team. Trying to lock Rendir out, trying to lock Sai out. Pengu gets across the gap, but Protax is pinning him. But Protax stops the tornado and will fall. That's the Diffuser down with 30 seconds bounce. He's got to find four, but Pengu says no. The game. Penta are your first Rainbow Six PC Pro League champions here live in Cologne. This Canadian is getting back into the corner. Kicks is watching the cross now from the stairwell. Canadian is beginning the plot. The yells are coming out from Yuktis. They hear it going down. Spoken is very, very Don't low stick. on health. Snake is taken down and six quarters has been down but not out. It's Kicks will finish him off and Shiro will finish off Kicks though. They do trade back and forth. Yogas has been down on the stairs and Canadian will kill him. Three versus four in favor of Orbit. The plant is down and now the aggressive push from Canadian will get him killed. When Shiro comes up, gets he the kill on Blackbeard. That. that could be big. It's now down to three yeah, versus two in favor of Yunktis. Exactly. But there's not a lot of health on these three players. Snake is upstairs and does have a top down angle on the diffuser. K9 is out on the top of the strip club. The shots are rattling next to Renchiro. I believe he is on that diffuser if he looks like it or not. He is Mid going fall. through it. And with that kill, Yunktis will successfully be your season two PC champions. Wow, with that, the diffuse sticks, they get it. 30 seconds, in goes Capital. here comes the plant, the shots are rattling towards the corridor, Retro doesn't need to hit it as Zeronic has been taken out by LMs, that's Blackbeard gone! Panic is one down. down inside the site, Meepy is on 1 HP, LMs is on full, they don't have any drones on the bomb. Meepy is going upstairs. Necrox is going to go for the flank. Retro has to be calm inside the site and wait for the timing to be the level point. Panix is playing as a drone on site while down. He can feed information about the diffuser. Retro takes down Panix. That's the dead diffuser man. Meepy in the top of this staircase. He can see the gun. Meepy taken out up and above by Necrox. It's 1v2 for LM. This is going to be the deciding factor. Continuum. Can't find him. But there's the second oh! kill. Retro, they're gonna it. get it! More than enough time to defuse. Continuum are the first North American team to win Rainbow Six Pro League. Holy sh. Oh. He's gonna move on down into the middle offices. Coming from the side, Bosco moves on in. He gets Anthrax. He's gonna get Lion as well. It's a three on two. Elevates up in man count. He gets another. It's a three on one. Could it be all? It's all up to Furious G. He's in caught in the back window. Laxing moves on in. He's gonna get the kill. Laxing though gets the trade down onto him. We're gonna see our first 10 0 ever. And it's gonna be Elevate getting the grand finals. They've got he has to go as Snake will take out Young at the backside of A. 25 seconds ticking down on the clock as now Avian holding inside B is looking for someone to peek out on him, but they're not going to do it. They have the diffuser locked inside the A site. They know they've got to come for it. Okay. Snake will push his way in. Is it tucked in the corner? 10 seconds to go. Comes on around. Loses the fight to Canadian. One to go. It's Avian alone. And he drops down. Continue you are your world champions. Potentially, we'll see where he is in a moment. Fabian working his way down. He's going to spot on over. Looks for the shots on the one. He downs him. He gets the kill. Zig coming in from the middle corridor. He will be taken out as well. Last man alive is going to be Dioigoy. He's tucked around. He's got people to his left, people to his right. You've got Fabian over here. Falco as well inside of the bathroom. They know the last man's going to be A. They know he's got the diffuser. There's 35 seconds to go. He's going to try to go for this plant and he will get it down successfully. There is no need to take an over amount of risk here exactly. from Penta. They've got 45 seconds now. They know where he's at. They are gonna collapse on him at the same time. Some ghost shot's gonna come in. You're gonna see a dual peak here. They're gonna say, look for the corners. Gonna go one, two, three. They're gonna go for the shots, and he misses one. He's not gonna look for the style, but he gets it, and now it's gonna be Fabian getting the win for his team. This Ladies is the grand final champions. Penta's gonna have time to get the diffuser down, and we are gonna see Penta win this all. They are the world champions right now for season one. There's been no pressure from Circle Stairs yet, so they don't need to turn around and watch. Looks as though Pengu getting that kill on Disguise. Wonderful way to begin this. The future, however, is going down by Chapstick. Wonderful job here by Elevate, slinking on in there. Looks as though Yunus though gets that kill to Shuttle, turns on over, moving towards Yellow Stairs, where we all see Fabian. C4 kill by Fabian though, will take out England. We're gonna chance to grab one. Can he grab another? Can he grab a third? No, he grabs two. KS gets it. And it looks like Penta Sports is gonna be the champions here. They're gonna be the season two champions for the Pro League of Rainbow Six Siege. But he can't. They battle back. It's a 3v3 now with 30 seconds to go. Wilkie still able to flank if need be. 
Wag pushes in and you see the Blackbeard of Kamikaze has to go back up. Wokey does some damage, tries to go for the Blackbeard. He drops him and that's Diffuser down as well. He proves to be the better Navy SEAL operator. Bootsy adds to Wag. You call them Eds, we call them champions. Eds takes year two, season three. You can see the plant going down. Fabian gets Necrox who goes on the flank. Shate uncontested, Diffuser goes down. Now EG will need to retake the site. But Young trading off Goga, Fabian takes NBK down, BC. It's 2-2. Two -two. It's Pengu and Fabian left. Two of the best known players on that team. Their captain sufficient, Fragger, Fabian down, it's Pengu. Defense the Ash just the waiting, or rather the Hibana just waiting. They'll look to push together. The Diffuser in a position where they'll have to see when the Hibana goes through. One will cover the doorway as they start to defuse. Pengu goes for one on the Young, can he go the second? They're on the note as the best team in the world, never having that distinction until today. Penta are your world champions. The second Invitational. Mounts but Ness, cuts him with a knife on the Kanta Raketti. Welcome to the jungle, Penta Sports. That's the first kill and even Jonas is down. Two technical kills here for Team Liquid. Maybe Jonas can be picked up, but his position is precarious. Sexy Cake peeks the bolt, will get the kill on Goga. Here's the cleanup from Sexy Cake, two alive. Pengu and Fabian, is this the downfall? In the making, Fabian, last man alive, the in-game leader on the lion. He'll have How to roar. OP is lying here to fight five. Good luck, Fabian. Everybody from Team Liquid concentrating their efforts. You see everybody, every single one of the players here concentrating on the one kill that they need. Have they run out? Yes, yeah, they will! Liquid, they Fabian. win! Latin America, they Pengu end. goes down! Tagged by the Guma, goes in for the plan in the back. Fabian with a second one on Necrox. 5v3, advantage for G2. They're closer for the win. Fabian with one more. Jonas, the back spray as there's someone alive. Goga with one, and NVK last alive. The hope of North America on NVK. Hildan want to take him out. Starting the comeback potential as NVK is even lower in health here. Tagged by Jonas. Have to move into the castle, but his position is revealed to G2. EU close to getting the victory, and he goes down. G2 will take the win. And for one more time, G2 will take it. G2 right now firmly in the driver's seat. It could be the last one minute and 40 seconds of this tournament. Astro still aggressively playing inside of Aquarium, and he will be finished off from below. Fabian, great coordination with his team. Pangu takes down Moringa, and FaZe are in a two versus four. Stopped by the logic bombs as Pangu decides to hit the phone calls. Jonas finds cameraman and Mav as FaZe's sole member. They won in North America, they won in Europe, and they've done it for the first time in South America. But for the time being, there will be great patience. There you see it. Fabian can't land the shots. There goes Karzeka. Shepard's the last one left. He needs to get into the site. And keep in mind, in a 4v1, they are the best team that has ever played Rainbow Six. And the first team to repeat as defending reigning world champions. It doesn't matter the region. It doesn't matter the team. It doesn't matter the roster. They will find you and they will win. G2 take the six Invitational 2019. Themselves in, and now Canadian will just continue to march on forward. He knows that they can't really do all that oh. much. Oh, he'll tap one, but the bandit's gonna get trapped inside of the site. Canadian looking for one kill, but Scyther will gun down two of his teammates, and that diffuser will be dropped as well. This could go very bad oh. for Empire, who are bailing themselves out of a bad situation. With Geo down below, this could be the end of EG's miracle return to form. So a second of a miscalculation there from EG is all that matters. And Scyther is waiting for the body of NVK to pop up at the top of Red Stairs. Dan will come up now as well, but Geo could possibly catch the Maestro off guard. The Maestro looks the wrong way. We'll be able to win oh. the fight. No, Geo does. This will prompt Dan to have to do double duty. And NVK will watch as Geo goes for the plant. The sound cue will give Dan the information. Oh, he takes one down. Oh. And a new empire will rise as you crown a new champion here in Milan. And Joystick's just been droned out, but G2 haven't done anything to counter these roamers. And now they're just saying, okay, we need to attack from Aqua. We need to pressure for VIP and we need to pinch the site. They're going to have a difficult time of it, though, as Empire are well set up to counter this push. 
Joystick still not aware of where oh, anybody is! What? But two kills, three for Shepard, and the Empire strikes back! They will take the Raleigh Major and disbelief how quickly it comes back where it all began for Empire. They're trying their best here. Saves, pushing into security. He's going to get lit up. The pipe's oh! going down. Kendra's getting it off, and Citizen will need to cover. There's two for Na'Vi. One is being tracked as well in Dark Zero. Between a rock and a hard place, is this over? 2v3, Kendra finds one, and Hyper is there. Na'Vi just need a couple more seconds, and it's done! The lads have done it! From Challenger League to Champions! The Navi Nation will lift the trophy high here in Japan. Easily get caught, but Nip decides not to go for it. With so little time left, they will just sit and wait with bated breath, just as we will. But Cycle gets spotted by Bosco, who drops from the main lobby. And that's the first kill for Space Station. Looking for another. As they turn in, there's Bosco with yet another. Pino goes down. Plant being attempted by Canadian. Fultz gets one on the Kamikaze. Julia will need to stop this. Musi takes out Bosco. Down he goes. And it's Musi, the new member in a 1v4 with Diffuser down. Everything is on the line. The most critical moment in Musi's career with SSG. 30 seconds away. They need to find one person. That's it. He'll head in towards Archives and get caught. The hammer heads into orbit, but it's home once again is North America. The diffuser's down on the ground. It's three versus two as Moringa finds one upstairs as well, but he's downed. It's all down to Palu. One versus two, effectively. One versus three as Moringa is finished off. 14 seconds left to go. This is tense. C4. He's got a C4 in hand. Pino takes the drop. Julio has diffuser in hand. He finds the shots, but Palu cannot find the kill. Out comes the Nitro. Oh, shot, shot out. out by Pino. Pino! That is the round in 2020 Brazilian hearts were broken but like a phoenix nip rise from the ashes to claim the hammer at the six invitational 2021 you also have Alamo on the road that's going to be a major factor later in the round the fact that he is going to be down there as a nuisance where they won't see him they won't know he's there and empire don't have the bodies to commit to a flank watch when shepherd goes to get that diffuser down always will need to be the one to watch for the remaining three players from team one it took about a miracle for team one to get here and with always taking some more damage it looks like Team One have it within their grasp. A small entry point for Team Empire to get in, and they'll fight back and forth. Levy doesn't see it. Oh. Down goes Ali Mao. All it is is Lagonis in a 1v2, as Empire need to get that diffuser down. Five seconds left, Five seconds. but it's been surrendered. And do oh. you believe in magic, Michael? Because I do, and Team One does, as they win the Mexico Major. Parker, they are that team. Nip know they have an advantage, but they cannot start to lose pace, and the momentum might be going in favor of FaZe Clan. They're watching very intently, with the guns on both sides working out very effectively. A drop from Psycho inside of Laundry. Julio taking some damage, and the plant will start to go down. It's now a 2v3. FaZe have everything in their power, and that's the diffuser. Years and years of hard work pay off for the Brazilian squad. Joystick, where does he sit? That's the question. Watching for a repel, potentially for one on the roof. He could engage, but he gets smoked by Achieved. It's a 5v1. If there's ever been the time for a flawless round, it's now. Everything on the line for TSM. What a year it's been from them. And it's all now Shepard to try and stop it. Empire have come so close before, but they've fallen short and they'll do so again. TSM said, trust the process. The process just won you a world championship. TSM are your sixth Invitational 2022 world champs. Wait, whatever blind spot there might be. DZ has vacated the bomb site. Diffuser going down in the hands of Iconics. Does DZ know this? It's being planted right under their very noses. One missed opportunity for Eclipse. Hyper goes oh. up. Suddenly DZ have the advantage, but they got to work against the clock. DP Fire nestled firmly inside of the bomb site. His teammate J90 guns down Eclipse. Repositioning, running rampant as DZ will scramble. Hyper with one. one on DP Fire. It's J90 to save Astralis. 
DZ can double up and secure their first international major win. They were forged in the South. How fitting it is that the first international trophy is earned in the South. Dark Zero win the Charlotte Major. I pull on.